Subscribe to our channel Petmu for more information on pets. Akita, a complete dog breed guide. Akita dog breeds are celebrated as the number one dog in Japan. In recent years, overseas ownership of one of Japan's most famous indigenous breeds has catapulted, outshined domestic demand for the fuzzy, perky-eared pups. The Akita may be the only breed in the world considered a natural monument in his home country. In the United States, there is another dog breed Akita, designated as the American Akita, which is technically classified as a different breed, although they are developed from the same original lines. If you're looking for a dog that is devoted, courageous, and unwaveringly faithful to its owner, then this may be the perfect dog breed for you. Let's watch the video to know the hidden truths about Akita. Akita History Akita Inu is the largest of the ancient canine clan of Japanese Spitz-type dogs. They originated from the mountainous region of Akita Prefecture, located in the Tohoku region of northern Honshu the main island of Japan. They were known as Kazuno Inu, Odate Inu, and Nambu Inu in their respective areas of northern Akita province. Collectively they were known as the regional dogs, in the local dialect, those living in towns and used for fighting were known as Korea Inu, or Kawe Inu, while others were used for hunting in the mountains and countryside were known as Matagi Inu. These were the ancestors of today's Akita which had been bred in these areas since ancient times. For several hundred years, Matagi Inu was used in male-female pairs to hold games such as Sukunawaguma the Japanese Black Bear, Kamashika the Japanese Saro, Boar and Deer at bay until the hunter arrived. Akitas are also been used to retrieve waterfowl. During the reign of the 5th Shogun of Japan Tokugawa Suniyoshi in 1680-1709, the breed's history took an unexpected turn. People cheekily called Suniyoshi the Inu Kubo due to his love for dogs. He went to such an extent that Suniyoshi issued laws known as Shorui Awaremi no Ri, the law prohibiting cruelty to animals in 1687. According to these laws of compassion, anyone who harmed dogs can be imprisoned and dogs should be addressed in a highly polite manner just as, O Inu Sama, which translates something to, Great Mr. Dog. From an ordinary peasant dog, the Akita Inu had turned into a samurai dog for Japanese royalty and aristocrats, and some Akitas had their own home with servants. In 1919, concerned by the Japanese breed's potential extinction, the Japanese included this large Spitz-type dog in a list of natural monuments to be preserved. The breed was almost gone extinct as Japan was almost constantly involved in wars, including World War I and II. Interestingly, when the Allied forces occupied Japan after World War II, American servicemen stationed in Japan saw the Akita, though there were very few lefts. They were attracted to the massive-sized dog and the Akita became one of many Japanese souvenirs brought to the U.S. Although the first Akita to come to the United States were the puppies called Kamikaze Go and Kenzen Go given to Helen Keller on her visit to Japan in 1937. The initial breeding stock that came to the U.S. was the loose-skinned, heavy-boned Congo line and the more distinguished Ichinoseki lineage. A mix of the two emerged which became the American Akita. That led to two main types of Akitas. American Akitas tend to be stockier and larger, often with a black mask, whereas Japanese Akitas are more stylized and refined, with the only approved colors being white, brindle, and red with white markings. The AKC recognized the Japan Kennel Club in 1992, so Akitas from Japan Kennel Club registered can again be registered with the AKC. Best suited as a companion now, some Akitas also work as police, sled, guard, hunting, and therapy dogs. Several are trained companions of hearing and sight impaired people and several have herding titles. Usually, they are eagle-eyed guardians of their families. Akita Facts the height of a male Japanese Akita dog is ranging between 66 to 71 centimeters, and the female dog is around 61 to 66 centimeters. The weight of a male Japanese Akita dog is ranging between 45 to 59 kilograms, and the female dog is around 32 to 45 kilograms. 
The height of a male American Akita dog is ranging between 64 to 70 centimeters, and the female dog is around 58 to 64 centimeters. The weight of a male American Akita dog is ranging between 34 to 54 kilograms, and the female dog is around 34 to 50 kilograms. The average lifespan of an Akita puppy is between 11 to 15 years. This applies only if the Akita puppy is well maintained with a good diet and grown in a healthy environment. Akita Appearance Japanese Akitas are large-sized, compact dog, just off-square, well-proportioned, well-boned with well-developed muscles. Strong constitution, agile, elegant, and oriental look. Arrogant pride is plainly visible and his guts are comparable to the samurai warrior. The female dogs are slightly longer in length when compared to male dogs. Facial region, broad, level skulls in proportion to the body with moderately developed cheeks and a moderate stop with a distinct furrow. The moderately long muzzles taper slightly at the nose but not pointed. They have tight lips, and large black noses while some white dogs have a slight and diffuse lack of pigment which is also acceptable as a breed standard. Relatively small, triangular-shaped eyes due to the rising of the outer eye corner that are set moderately apart on a dog's face being a nice dark brown in color. Thick, equally triangulated, well-furred ears which the dogs carry pricked and inclining forward. The Akitas have a strong jaw with a perfect scissor bite. American Akitas differ greatly in facial structure and are generally larger than the Akita Inu. They have a broad head and small deep-set eyes with more erect ears. The Akita has a stocky, muscular appearance and has white blazes or facial masks on the forehead. Sometimes the outer coat is a different color from the undercoat. Body, short, thick, and muscular necks that are very well muscled and in balance with the head. They boast moderately sloping shoulders and no dewlap with straight forearms and elbows are tight, neither turning in nor out. They have deep chests and moderately sprung ribs that are well drawn up and tucked up in the abdomen. They boast level backs, broad and muscular loins, and quite high, well-developed withers. The nicely tucked up bellies add to the Akita's agile appearance. Well-developed, strong, and moderately angulated back legs with long upper thighs and strong, but short second thighs with a powerful grip, thrust, and stance. Cat-like feet are thickly padded, well-knuckled, and tight with a firm grip. Tails are set on high and carried well curved or curled when letting down, the tip nearly touching hocks. Strangely, every Akita's tail curls up differently, so every Akita is unique. Akita Coat and Colors Usually, the Akita puppy has a double coat with a shorter top coat and a thick and lush undercoat. The coat of an Akita puppy appears in various colors such as black, white, brindle, chocolate, and a combination of white with other colors. Triple coated, with the coarse and straight outermost coat that stands out like needles, soft, and dense water-repellent middle coat that generally enhances the coat color. The innermost coat is closest to the skin and is generally thicker and wool-like in texture. This part of the coat is extra dense during winter to give extra insulation and loses volume during the summer months. The rump and the withers are covered with slightly longer hair, with hair on the tail as longer than the rest of the body and standing off. The coat length is of two types, standard coat and the moku, the long coat is the result of an autosomal recessive gene and may only occur phenotypically if both male and female dogs are carriers. They are known to have sweeter temperaments and it is speculated that this gene comes from the now extinct Carafudo Ken. Accepted coat colors are red fawn, brindle, white, and sesame. All these colors must have, urajiro, which means creamy whitish ventral color. Urajiro, whitish coat on the muzzle sides and the cheeks, inside ears, on the underside of the jaw and upper throat, around the vent, on the chest and abdomen, on the inside of the legs and the underside of the tail. Akita Temperament Akita is a natural-born pack leader, known for their stubborn and independent temperament. Akita's temperament may range from sociable and gregarious to more aloof towards strangers and only pleasant with their family. This is not the best breed for families with toddlers and other pets. If you like to get an Akita as a family pet, 
It is best to get an Akita puppy so that the dog can be socialized early on and made comfortable with kids. They are incredibly inquisitive, smart dogs, and have some odd cat-like traits so they are often called cat dogs. Akitas are curious, stubborn, and natural escape artists. Akita Care Akita is not the best choice for first-time dog owners as they need to be trained, socialized, and handled by people who are proficient with the specific needs of smart, stubborn, and sharp dogs. They are naturally dominant so they need to be appropriately handled and trained right from the outset. They require huge socialization from a very early age to acclimatize the dog to tolerate its fur friends the best way possible. They are real samurais. You should be consistent and keep your training sessions short and sweet. They are also so shrewd that if you make any harsh, inconsiderate corrections, they may stand firm and become even more resistant. Akitas may be better for a first-time owner in certain cases, for those who have time to devote to educate, socialize his dog and who feels the desire to learn, rather than someone experienced about other dog breeds and thinks that Akitas are also the same. Obviously, first-timers have to have grip and tact to manage them, but Akitas can be easily trained, especially when you are well prepared. Akita Training The Akita Inu is not the easiest breed to train because of his independent nature. During the training, he is more likely to use his wits. Even though he is an intelligent dog and motivated dog, he needs a firm and consistent trainer or owner to inculcate proper canine codes. If there is no proper training, owners may find it quite hard to handle him as he grows up. There will be always a streak of stubbornness in them but you just need to be consistent and make sure to establish yourself as the pack leader. For best results, it's essential to work with a trainer who understands the breed's independence, territorial nature, and possessiveness. Start extensive socialization and basic obedience training with him from puppyhood and include a variety of dog toys and treats to retain your dog's interest. Getting outdoors for some action is also important to them as they need a good daily workout, whether a jog flanking his bicycling owner or it's a walk in the neighborhood. They cannot be trusted off-leash as they are proficient escape artists and have a strong prey drive. Keep in mind, you must start training at puppyhood. This can help shirk moments of inconsistent behavior. Akita puppies should be exposed to other dogs and pets early on so that no authority issues surface in the future. Rules of thumb in positive reinforcement, keep it short and uncomplicated. Immediately reward or praise the desired behavior. Every behavior has a price tag the more difficult the demand higher should be the paycheck. Be patient and consistent. Make learning fun for both you and your dog. Akita Food. Rough feeding guide for Akita dog. Puppies first one to three months, three meals per day. After the third month, two meals per day. Protein content should be anything from 30%. Carb content should be 30 to 65%. Fiber content should be less than 4%. Fat content should be less than 10%. Calcium content should be 0.5 to 0.8%. Phosphorus content should be 0.4 to 0.7%. Sodium content should be 0.2 to 0.4%. Foods that Akita eats. Chicken, fish, egg, sea plants, beef, pork, oatmeal, brown rice, pearled barley, carrots, sweet potatoes, peas, apples, blueberries, and cranberries. Foods to avoid. Mushrooms, cooked bones, raisins, and grapes, chocolate, garlic, onions, and almonds. Interesting facts of Akita puppy. In Japan, there is an exclusive museum for Akita dogs. Akita dogs are viewed in Japan as the country's treasure. Akita puppy is sold at an exorbitant price in its native homeland, Japan. In Japan, newborn children are given a small Akita doll, to bestow a long and prosperous life to children. Akita puppy is also called a snow country dog in Japan. Akita dog is still used in dogfighting sport in Japan, majorly in the rural areas and towns. Some major cities have banned this sport. 
Insurance companies prefer to stay away from insuring an Akita puppy because of its aggressive and notorious nature. These companies could charge very high rates from the respective owners of this dog. During World War II, the Akita puppies were on the edge of extinction as owners could not feed and care for them. Akita Health Problems Some major health problems that affect Akita dogs are hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, hypothyroidism, von Willebrand disease, and immune system disorders that affect the skin. Akita Price the price of an Akita dog in the USA market can be in the range of $750 to $2,000. In the UK market, an Akita dog can be bought for £150 and it can go up to £2,000.